At level seven, at layer seven of the OSI model, the application layer, that's you sitting in your web browser typing in the request. And that's you actually interacting with the program. The application is the web browser, whatever it is. The request that you make in the web browser has to be broken down and translated through the remaining layers of the OSI model as we move down. So at layer seven, we are going to be interacting with applications and providing user-friendly, human-readable information. That's what's happening at the OSI model at layer seven. What about the presentation layer at layer six? Well, presentation layer at layer six is where we are standardizing data presentation for the applications. This is where we are going through since we are starting in the application layer and we have all of that stuff and we've typed in the human readable string. I wanna know about the TCP IP DOD model. Presentation layer makes that look pretty. Imagine that you're seeing what's on the screen as you are right now. And we see uh, capital letters that spell a presentation layer. We see capitalized words, standardization, lowercase of data presentation to the applications in black, center, uh, center aligned, right? Nice uh, table laid out. We got a purple number six sitting on the end there. All that stuff that's nicely setting up and presenting data to us, presentation. It's formatting and laying out the data at the presentation layer and assigning the information and the formatting of the information and the presentation of the information in such a way that we can interact with it. We can see left margin aligned text. We could see bold highlighted. We could see 32-bit pica font or whatever it is. That's all stuff that happens at the presentation layer. When we move down to the session layer in layer five of the OSI model, What we are doing is, says there, management of sessions between the applications. Now, the session layer is kind of an interesting layer. Session layer is going to be able to create the rules of engagement, what I call the rules of the game, that allow us to specify how we are going to connect to another system somewhere else out there. We're not quite sure who yet. We're not quite sure where. But we know we're going to ultimately send this information, this request for data that goes into Google, has to go out to another computer, whatever represents Google in our world. We have to connect to that at some point. Now, we know that Google's really a lot of systems, not one individual. But the point is, for our purposes, for our example, let's just pretend there's one machine somewhere out there. And we're going to connect to that. We're not ready to connect yet. we got to get all the way down to the bottom layer of the model before we send data out on the wire but we have to understand what the rules of connection will look like. We have to understand what the game is gonna look like and how we're gonna play the game in order to connect. And that's what the session layer is all about. It's about setting up the structure and the rules that will govern connectivity when we actually make the connection and interact and send data. So management of sessions between applications, management of the interaction, session is connection, exchange of data between applications between Internet Explorer or your web browser, and between whatever we're going to talk to on the other side. The session layer is going to govern and manage the setup and breakdown of that information and govern and manage how it is going to take place. That's what the session layer does. Then we have the transport layer, layer four. Again, we're moving our way down here slowly but surely, right? It's a good thing we didn't have 11 layers. We'd run out of fingers and have to start using our toes to keep track, right? So the transport layer, layer four. End-to-end -end error detection and correction. The transport layer, I like to think of the transport layer, as being something like FedEx or UPS. It's where we are going to package up all of our data, going to make sure it's wrapped up nice and securely, got it in a box, got the right label on it, it's addressed the right way, it's got some bubble wrap in there, make sure things don't bang around too much, and we're going to make sure we put some tape on that thing and keep it nice and safe and sealed up. And we're going to take it, we're going to hand it off to somebody who's going to check it, log it in, make sure that all that information is correct, and then they're going to set it up so that way it's going to ultimately get delivered to the right place. So this is what happens at the transport layer. End-to-end, session-to-session, connection-to-connection, error detection and correction. If something goes wrong, we're going to figure it out here. We're going to try to fix it. That's what's happening at the transport layer. 